Okay, we just got up here and I'm already about mad with you. Why are you gonna tell me something? Something my fault. We already lied, baby. We are that clay couple, and we're known for providing life-changing premarital and marriage courses, relationship renovation, and mental health counseling that quickly gets you to hashtag relationship goals with your partner and yourself. Hmm. We sit here today because we have been so inspired hmm. by a recent chain of events and inspired, stuff. Inspired? Inspired? Yes, we've talk. been inspired. I don't know. I've been pissed. Okay. <laughs> How's to say he pissed? Right. He, that is what he said. He said, I want to do a video because I'm still pissed off mm -hmm. by what happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. So y'all tag somebody. Mm -hmm. Y'all tag a friend. Put this on your page. Let people know because so many folks are experiencing gaslighting and they do not even know, know it. it. Right. <clears throat> That's what it is. Exactly. All right. So the first thing is, what is gaslighting? Okay. Uh, Y'all have baby. heard. Y'all have baby. heard somebody say. What are you talking about? You know that that's not true. Mm -hmm. And they're sitting there. You're sitting there with facts and things right here in mm -hmm. your face. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like telling me this is not a pen. Right. I mean, what do you mean it's not a pen? It writes. It mm -hmm. has ink in it. You know, even if it, we used all the ink, this mm -hmm. would still be, be a, a pen. pen. Exactly. And for someone to say, no, it's not. So that's the first thing that gaslighting is, is for somebody to tell you that what you know to be true is a lie. Right. The other thing that folks do all the time, and we experience this in so many ways, is not just marriage, mm -hmm. but that's what we do talk about today, mm -hmm. is for to be told that what you believe or what you're saying, it, and it's just dismissed right. or reduced. Or reduced without, without any without making you feel like whatever you said is not even relevant right and that happens a lot though because if we call it well you just dismiss me you don't listen to me that too is gaslighting mm -hmm. why because you're wrong mm -hmm. you don't know what you're talking, you don't know what you're talking, talking about, about. Okay, that if you were being honest, you wouldn't say that. Right. All of this is oh, that, that, that's that's one right there. If you if you being honest, has to say that I'm not honest. Exactly, because mm -hmm. that's exactly what that says. Mm -hmm. Or if you would be honest about the situation, right. you would say what it is that I believe mm -hmm. you need and sh or should say. Exactly. All of this is gaslighting. Exactly. So if this is something that you experienced and you heard, you let us know. Let us know in the comments. I know I've seen it. Welcome, Salam, Umbayana. I know I've seen it, and. I, I can't even say that even some of the things that we're going to give you examples of, of mm -hmm. how people do it. I can't even say that I haven't said some of these things. Mm -hmm. And so you can say them, but it doesn't mean that your intention mm -hmm. is to literally gaslight. Right. Because I, 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 I was going to say, I think part of it, too, is there is an intention when gaslighting takes place. What's the intention? That a person is trying to drive them off. Or what it is that they're coming with. They're trying to make them look at what 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 they say in politics now, the alternative facts. <laughs> you know, alternative facts, right? So that, that and they know they are wrong, but they don't want you to be right. Right. And it really is about somebody trying to control the narrative. Mm -hmm. And ultimately we'll feel like somebody's trying to control you. Exactly. <clears throat> they're exactly. trying to gain charge. Of the situation. Mm -hmm. And one of the key things that, you know, I have in my counseling sessions when people are experiencing gaslighting, you know, one of the things that, you know, uh, they say is, what is it that I'm supposed to do? When someone is standing in your face telling you what you know to be true, it's like trying to tell me I'm not a black woman. Mm -hmm. As just tell me that this cap is not on my head. Right. You know? And you are insisting mm -hmm. that what I am saying is an outright fallacy mm -hmm. in my face. Well, how, what do you do with that? You know what? Nothing. 
Not a thing. There is nothing, nothing that you, you can, can do, do with someone whose goal is to make you look or to think that you are crazy mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. that you or to cause you to doubt yourself. Now, take somebody who has some low self-esteem. Exactly. Some exactly. depression. Exactly. Some anxiety. anxiety. And mm -hmm. then do this to them. Mm -hmm. Man, you're going to be sitting up in a corner in a fetal position. Exactly. You <laughs> drive them mad. It would drive them mad. And then what they're going to expect you to do, the person who's gaslighting, is to make you then conform to them and do whatever it is that they want you to do. And because why? Why do the people do this? Y'all, because it works. Mm -hmm. And why does it work? It works when a person gives more weight to words than actions. actions because gaslighting only works because of what comes out of their mouth mm -hmm. because if we look at words if we look at evidence if we look at truths if we look at values and principles mm -hmm. then what they're doing would lose all effectiveness mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It will have no meaning whatsoever. Yes, gaslighting is real, Umbeyana. Mm -hmm. It would have no meaning whatsoever. It only works because you focus on, well, that's what they saying. It works so well in leadership, it's particularly with spiritual abuse, because yes. mm -hmm. that's why Hassan is pissed. We really did see someone abuse. I, I saw a, a spiritual leader abuse a person yesterday. I mean, and this is someone who has expressed self-harm. Exactly. And we saw a spiritual leader make comments that were totally contradictory and combative to where this person was. For what reason? Because all they did was listen to the other spouse. Mm-hmm. And take what that person's spouse said as true. And then call this person. Call this person. And begin to give their spiritual recommendations. They did not ask a question, question about nothing, about anything. And took what that other person said as truth. Now talk about a denial of reality. This is someone who hasn't even asked me what my reality is. Mm -hmm. You have just made it, made it, uh, made this, the, this circle, the, this, this place where my spouse's reality is the one that is totally true for both of us. Exactly, exactly. Forget where I'm at. I just need to take that person's reality and then transpose it over here to me. Regardless of what I got going on or anything, that was so wrong. That and Hassan was, so was pissed. I mean, like, I'm just sitting there looking at it. <laughs> like, what he go, what's he going to do? What is he going to do? And he did do something. Sometimes I'm so amazed at how he is such a strong advocate for things. There's so many things that folks don't see on social media. <laughs> but he was hot yesterday. But that, that is a great example of how it can be used in spiritual abuse. I see you, Miktara. You said, wow. Yeah, that's what we said. Because we knew that we were also looking at someone who actually does have spiritual knowledge. Mm. And then, mm. look, Hassan, Hassan disagrees. Mm. Okay, well, then can we say this is someone who is... He's isn't just been respected. He's just respected. Okay. Right Okay, he is, I give him that. He is respected and he is in a position of spiritual leadership. Right. Okay, we agree on that. Right, we agree on that. Okay, you don't know about the knowledge hmm. part. <laughs> you know. Because I mean, that wasn't what that wasn't. I mean, wisdom. even even if he was had the position of a judge, uh -huh. you see what I'm saying, or a scholar. You listen to both sides. Right. You know, and and even if his his assessment was wrong. It would have been wrong based upon Knox. He didn't even have a wrong assessment. So he will get a reward for that. He can't even get a reward from that because one, he's not a scholar. He's not he's not even a student. But anyway, well anyway, I'll ask you, let me let me stop. Okay. But but any but regardless of what, he abused a position. Yes. You know, and without the and without any compassion 
for <laughs> even if he had knowledge, even compassion for his own knowledge. Yes. And to make sure that someone else experienced and received his knowledge in a good light. Exactly. He didn't and do so, that. And what he did was really exercise, in my opinion, what's been going on forever, the good old boys club. And he exercised his will over another person, and I, i.e. a woman. Okay. And that is what happened. You know, because another reason why. Who yeah. don't who don't know? You see what I'm saying? Y'all see, sorry. I told you he was pissed. Who don't know? So in this in this vein, now she's looking like well, I, I'm doing something wrong when she's already in a position of 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 vulnerability mm -hmm. mentally. Yes, because the belief is is very often, generally speaking, that a woman's opinion doesn't hold much weight. But even if you have this perception and you don't have knowledge of it, don't act like it. And, exactly. and, and and when you didn't even ask her position, right. you didn't get any feedback from her whatsoever. That is exactly what this scenario and this experience, what, what it exudes. So not only did she get, she was getting gaslighted by her husband, but then she got gaslighted by him. Yes. The other part of that says, I said it's so open to the scenario is that people gaslight because I don't want to express regret or remorse or admit that I've been wrong about a situation. And so what they'll do is I'm going to bring you in on my bad decision. Mm -hmm. I made a poor decision. So we need to take accountability Ability for, for it. it. Right. We need to fix it what do you mean we need to fix it you the one it? did it that's what i'm saying why I, why are you pulling me in it so what that does is actually i don't really hold accountability for i'm actually truly blaming you for because for. that's why i want to bring you in right. so you can look bad right not me so when a person whoever i did this to even though I'm coming with something, they're going to be a little bit more compassionate towards me because they're going to think that you are the one who put me up to doing it. Right. You are the person who influenced my decision. Exactly. Exactly. And so it's cowardice in my opinion, but, you know, anyway, <laughs> it's cowardice in my opinion. But nevertheless, it's still gaslighting. And so things that you'll hear uh, in a gas. Uh, lighting situation is you're paranoid you're mm -hmm. too sensitive you're crazy you don't know what it is that you're talking about oh mm -hmm. you are ungrateful mm -hmm. you need to quit complaining so much mm -hmm. these are all things that are very common and in oh, you don't know what you're talking about yes that didn't happen that way yeah it, it, it's no big deal it's why, no big why, deal why, why, are, you, why are you why are you being so sensitive it's, it's, it's really no big deal why, why why are you why are you worried about that why do you mm -hmm. keep asking me things like that mm -hmm. these are all things that will happen with or that are said in a gas if you are honest you would say this yes if my spouse is honest, this is what you would say, right. because that means that if you were honest, you would agree with me and you would say what I want you to say. Exactly. And so in turn, what is, well, how do you respond to that? What people do, you apologize a lot. You think that you're not good enough. Mm -hmm. You make excuses mm -hmm. for the other person's behavior. Because mm -hmm. remember now, they're not the only ones at fault. Right. You you join them in the blame. Right. right. <laughs> so because you tried to join them in the blame, I got to find a way to make an excuse for them mm -hmm. because I don't want to look bad. Mm -hmm. I got to try to fix this. I have right. to take responsibility for something you didn't even do. Right. And in the process, you're confused because you have a lot of confusion going on at that point because am I really crazy? Did I? Re it's like sitting there. Did I really wake up this morning? You see what I'm saying? That if you get gaslighted, that's what, it can really be to the point that where you are questioning your very existence, the very air you breathe. You know, am I am I making any sense, sense. at all? Okay, Sh should I? Can I feel this way? Wait, exactly. Is is it okay? I mean, literally, I've had people say, "Is it okay for me to be happy?" Exactly about a situation. For what reason can you not be happy about something that you have earned, that is gracious, that 
shows God's favor and you are questioning right. whether or not you should be happy about it right. because someone told you that you don't deserve that. Right. You got a lot of guilt and shame getting placed on you. Right. Because, you know, I've done something and I've accomplished something. So I don't really know if I should be grateful. I don't know if I should be pleased with myself. I, I better not say anything complimentary about me because, you know, I, I, I don't want to look like, you know, I got a big ego. Mm -hmm. This is all gaslighting. Lighting. Yes. Yes, it will. It will take you there. It'll take you to a whole lot of places. And you, you, you wonder, am I too sensitive? Hmm. You know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong about about this. Mm -hmm. So, I want you to take away this one thing. Of course, looking at the very subtle ways that it can happen, right. but just know that for what reason is this successful? Mm -hmm. It is successful because of what you have placed the priority on. Mm -hmm. And when you don't place the priority on actions and accountability, of course, words matter. Mm -hmm. But words have to be followed up with actions. And then we have to we have to have a way to be able to measure those actions. Was it actually done? It's like me going to tell the kids, you know, I want you to go clean the kitchen. My kids, no, that don't mean just do the dishes. And if all you do is do the dishes, then you didn't clean the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Well, I have a question for you with this, though. Yes. Right? <clears throat> As we continue to have this conversation, and I don't want to go on too far, too long, but... And I'm looking at to, to, uh, the incidents of the person who had the spiritual leader do. On one end, I see the act of deception and evil out of the first party. Who went to the who went to the spiritual leader? I see that action. Now, the spiritual leader in this instance, I don't want to say that his action with intention was based upon some evil or some deception, right? But I think. His role in that was ego. I don't even want to call it ego centered, but male dominant centered. Okay, I agree with that. But I'm going to say this for the spouse who went to the spiritual leader, I don't know what their conversation looked like, mm -hmm. but that spouse didn't make that spiritual leader handle that conversation that way. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm thinking of looking at it as this. His was more male dominant, which is still gas. He's still gaslighting. But I want to look at it from two. two I want that to be understood from probably a couple of perspectives. One is there's an evil and deception aspect to it. Tell me what you mean. When I say evil, the person who, for instance, using the person who went to him, mm -hmm. right? He has something evil and deceptive in mind. He wanted that guy to do something for him. So he can get over on what he was doing. Yes. Right. Now that there Which was some not deception. Nice, right. right. There was some deception and some evil in that. Right. Because right. he could have extended the invitation of can can, can we contact my wife so that we can exactly. all talk exactly so that we can all have exactly. a conversation. Exactly. Exactly. But that's not what that's happened. not what happened. But then the 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 next part, now I'm not saying all men does get, do gaslighting because women do it too, right? So I want that to be clear. But I'm talking about a particular incident where in this point, the person, the second person who also was doing the gaslighting, he did it from another perspective though. He did it from a male dominant perspective. You need to listen to what it is that I'm saying. Well, from a power perspective. Because of the, the position that I'm in, you need to listen, listen to, to me. Listen to me and do what I tell you to do. Based on what this other person told me exactly. about you. Exactly. Even though I don't know what your position, position is, is in this situation. Right. And so then in his exuding his power, he, he also used it as gaslighting. He also gassed it. Yes. Yes. Okay, so I, I'm 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 working through, it. and I wanted the people to understand that people have various different reasons why they would they would be gaslighting you, you know, and it just doesn't come from 
uh, disposition of evil or, or, or deception, but it also can come from a power, a power genesis, or it can also come from, you know, a wicked genesis, if that makes sense. My, the end result. It's still a thing going to say. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> the end result is not good. Do you feel better now? No. No. <laughs> no. no. I knew you were going to say that. No. But what I do feel is that I, I thought it was important for us to share for those of you who are out there. And, you know, if you watch this video at whatever point you're watching it and you want to leave us a comment or even send us an inbox about how you may have even been or you felt like you were gas, gaslighted, we welcome that We because we, we would love to hear how that happened, how that happened to you. And obviously we won't share if you come to us privately, we won't share it. But please share this this video. You know, please share this this live. All right, as always, you can find us at www.thatclaycouple.com or or www.thatclaycouple.com. I think I said that wrong. www.thatclaycouple. There you go. I got it now. That that right there, or hashtag that clay couple, or info at that clay couple dot com. Let us know what you think. Share, mm -hmm. tell your friends, because I promise you, someone is experiencing See, this. Exactly.